Have you ever been trolled online? It turns out, according to a study that was discussed at a recent symposium, it turns out that a surprising number of people have in a symposium on Internet harassment held recently in Austin, Texas. uh, They discussed a study which shows that approximately 40 percent of Internet users have experienced some form of online harassment. Now, 40 per, I don't know your thoughts, but my reaction is that 40% is a staggeringly high number. Now, if you don't know anybody who's experienced this, maybe it's because of your age, because the majority of these 40%, the majority of these cases have affected people between the ages of 18 and 29. That's, uh, again, a disturbing statistic. And we learn, even more disturbing, that according to the uh, survey, 12.9 percent of people in the study said they had been threatened with physical violence online. Now, there's a little precedent for this in that a different study was done in 2014 in where researchers at the University of Manitoba, Winnipeg, and British Columbia looked at the nature of people who do trolling and found that online trolls display traits that include sadism, narcissism, and psychopathy, meaning psychopathic behavior. So are there psychopaths on the Internet? Well, we would caution you against reading too much into these types of studies. They're not as precise as we'd like them to be. Uh, And someone who exhibits psychopathic behavior online may not be a psychopath in their daily life. But it suggests a couple things. It suggests, first of all, that the internet is not a safe space for a lot of people, and it should be. And we should be talking about censorship-free ways of making it a safe space. That's number one. And number two, we should be thinking more about the way in which the environment of the internet encourages the worst in people to come out and does not inhibit it, disinhibits us from antisocial behavior. So just something to think about.